नमस्कार इन स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्व वी विल बी डूइंग सम एक्टिविटीज टू अंडरस्टैंड सम कॉन्सेप्ट एंड लॉज टू डू दिस वी विल बी यूजिंग सम अपारेटर्स और इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एंड वी हैव टू बी फमीलियर विद दैम सो इन लेबोरेटरीज वी हैव टू मेक फ्रेंडशिप सो लेट्स गेट इंट्रोड्यूस टू दिस फ्रेंड्स let us begin our introduction with wires we have to understand that we use wires to connect the circuit so there are different colors you get black red sometimes green sometimes blue all right so you can see there is insulation okay so to connect in the circuit we have to remove this insulation this is a stripper so with which then in uh, the insulation can be removed and you can see the copper wire inside see the strands inside this is multi stranded you can even get a single stranded wire now you have to twist this wire so that when we connect maximum current flows through it all right so these are wires now let us see crocodile clips these are used to connect to any wire in this way all right crocodile clips the next is banana clip so you can see there is a space for double connection all right so these are called banana clips again they are used for connection all right these wires have negligible resistance that is the reason they are used to connect the devices in the circuit all right next what we'll use is cell or a battery battery means combination of cells now this is a 1.5 volt cell in the market you get different sizes uh, of the cells this is a different size this is 1.5 volts this is also 1.5 volt cell now you can see this is a 9 volt battery there are two terminals for the battery positive terminal and negative terminal similarly positive and negative terminal here also you get positive and negative terminal actually there is a connector here you can see you can remove this connector and connect it again you can see here there is a positive plus sign okay which suggests that that terminal is positive terminal all right now if i want different voltages i can combine these cells to give me more voltage this is a battery holder okay so combining these two cells 1.5 plus 1.5 gives me 3 volts from this combination all right i can add two more cells and get 6 volts from this combination now this is a dry cell this is lacland cell both these are lacland cell but this is a dry one you can see this is a carbon rod which is used as positive terminal and this is a zinc rod used as negative terminal it uses ammonium chloride solution but the details of it will learn when we'll actually use it next we use denial cell this is a positive terminal and zinc rod is used as negative terminal we use copper sulfate and zinc sulfate solution in this cell but the details we'll learn when we'll actually use it we have dc sources and we have ac sources right dc means direct current and ac means alternating current now these are all which we saw are dc sources uh, in our houses we have ac source of 220 volts we can step it down and have such ac sources in the laboratory now this is a dc source yeah we can also get uh, ready made dc sources they are called battery eliminators and you can see there is it is a variable source it has negative terminal it has positive terminal these are ready made 
which are available in the market. This is a DC source. You can vary the voltage. This is a negative terminal and this is a positive terminal. And this is made in a workshop by Professor Sadik. He was a professor in Srimati Parvati Bai Chogule College and he has made it in his workshop. All right. So we step down the voltage and then a AC to DC converter is there in this. All right. Now this is a AC source. Now you can see this is a step down transformer there and you can see the different terminals. Okay, but the colors are same. You can see here black color for the negative and red color for the positive. But here there are no different black and red colors. Okay, from here to here if you connect then you get around 4.62 volts. Right, and if you connect from here to here you get 6.45 volts. And if you connect between these two terminals then you get around 1.8 volts. Alright, this AC source is made in a workshop by Sadik sir, but you can, it is also available in the market. Let us see the different types of resistances which we use in the laboratory. In laboratory, we use unknown resistance so that we can perform an experiment and find the values of these unknown resistances. So we can have different kinds of wires with different resistance values. This is a resistance wire without enamel that is no insulation and this is also a resistance wire but with enamel. This is a nichrome wire and this is a copper wire but with enamel and it should be removed for connection. To remove this enamel we can use sandpaper or anything else and gently rub it so that the enamel or the insulation is removed all right okay here i have used nichrome wire all right so since this wire doesn't have insulation we have the wire should not touch so it should be spaced out we have taken a board and passed the wire in such a way that it is spaced out all right we can even wrap the wire with space on a cardboard. So these are two resistances with different values and these are the two ends of the wire all right which can be connected in the circuit. Now you can even get uh, resistances ready-made okay in the market. Now this is a resistance box okay so whenever the circuit is connected we have to put some resistances known or unknown. These are used to control the current or vary the current or we can vary the resistances in the circuit. There are values written and if I remove one key that means that much resistance is coming say 1 ohm is coming in the circuit. So here if I remove this key, it is written 500. So it is 500 ohms will be coming in the circuit. All right. So this is a resistance box and these are rheostats. Okay. So this is also a variable resistance which we can use to control or vary the current in the circuit. These two terminals or these two terminals are called the fixed terminals. So if you fixed resistance will be coming in the circuit and the current will be constant. Whereas if I connect this and this terminal, then you can see we can vary the resistance in the circuit. This is this much resistance will be coming in the circuit. Then I'm increasing the resistance now. So the current will decrease. If I decrease this resistance, then current will increase. I can also use the other fixed terminal and the upper variable terminal for using rheostat as variable resistance. Only difference will be now when I am varying it will be increasing resistance and in this case it will be decreasing resistance. So increasing resistance 
and decreasing resistance okay so this is called the rheostat and this is called the resistance box but this is different from this in the sense this the values are of resistances are known whereas here the values are not known okay here the values are discrete that means 1 2 then i can have 3 combination then 4 okay but i cannot get anything between 1 and 2 so i cannot get 1.5 all right in this whereas here we have continuous values but only thing is that we will not know the value this can be used only as a resistance in the circuit whereas this can be also used for potential divider arrangement what it is we'll learn later when we will actually use it let us see what is inside a resistance box okay so when i say one ohm resistance is removed that means one ohm resistance is introduced in the circuit so you can see here wire it has one ohm resistance and that will come in the circuit right when i insert the feedback it means it is directly connected and there is zero resistance so current will directly pass and it will not pass through this resistance so you can see here different values of resistances are there means different lengths of the wire so this is a resistance box now we will see the measuring devices all right we'll start with a galvanometer this is a galvanometer okay this is used to find whether there is any current flowing in that particular branch or maybe in the whole circuit all right so you can use it only to detect current this is a voltmeter it has negative terminal and positive terminal all right the line tells you that it is used in dc circuits all right here you can see the range is from 0 to 10 volts all right to measure the voltage we have to find the least count of this voltmeter this voltmeter has between 0 to 1 volt we have five lines okay it is calibrated so each line means it is 0 0.2 volts 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and 1 volt all right then 1.2 1.4 1.6 1.8 and 2 volts all right 2.2 2.4 2.6 2.8 3 volts like this you can measure the voltage on this voltmeter now the range can be different now this voltmeter has 0 to 12 volts right again here also we can see that the least count may be different or may be same these voltmeters are always connected in parallel between any two points if i want to find the voltage drop or potential difference we use voltmeters now this is a milliameter or we can have ammeter all right this is a negative terminal this is a positive terminal similarly negative and positive terminal so you can see these are used in dc circuits okay so milliameters are used to measure current in the circuit and they are connected always in series all right so you can see here 0 to 50 range then this is an emitter from 0 to 10 ampere and this is from 0 to 500 milliampere range all right so different range are available now all these things are same they are like galvanometers except the difference is galvanometer has some finite resistance all right voltmeter has a very high resistance ideally infinite 
milliameters since they are connected in series they have very low resistance all right this is a digital multimeter so we can measure with this dc voltage ac voltage dc current ac current and resistance all right so we have multi functions hence it is called multimeter and it's digital all right so we can use it as a voltmeter or as a emitter and we can select the range so that we can use it as required okay so these are two terminals positive and negative this is a analog multimeter you can see the calibration and a pointer there there is a current measurement voltage measurement you can say dc current and resistance which can be measured in circuits we need switches these are keys which act like switches in the circuit this is a single plug key as you can see there are two terminals and if i remove the key it is open if i insert the key it is closed this is double key this is a commutator which i can use to change the direction of the current once in this direction once in this direction in this position of the keys the current will be in one direction in another position of the keys the current will be in other direction this is a commutator two way key you saw some of the apparatus or the instruments used in the laboratory and you'll understand them better as we use them in the experiments now let us see the symbols used to denote each of them electric cell or dc source we denote with a longer line and shorter line this line longer line denotes positive terminal of the cell and the shorter line denotes the negative terminal of the cell all right for variable dc source we represent it with a arrow over this symbol of electric cell ac source we represent it in this way of course you know the symbol for the resistance and you have used it in school variable resistance we represent it with a arrow over this symbol for resistance rheostat is represented in this fashion this arrow represents the variable terminal of the rheostat and these two ends represent the fixed terminals of the rheostat a galvanometer it is represented with the letter g inside the circle all right sometimes we also represent it with a vertical arrow or an inclined arrow but mostly we represent it with a letter g inside the circle voltmeter is represented with letter v inside the circle emitter with a letter a inside the circle and milliameter with the letter small m and capital a inside the circle open key we represent it in this fashion closed key in this way sometimes we represent open key in this fashion also or in this way and closed key will be this way right double key is represented in this fashion of course one of them is closed since double key is used to bring the device one at a time in the circuit mostly we use these symbols in our textbook or in the laboratory that's all in this session see you next time